and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide and the second vlog of our trip here to Brighton. Where in this video we're going to be taking you for a full tour of the British Airways I360 Tower. And you can see the very modern structure there just behind me. It's actually 162 meters tall. It's really tall. It's big. Like you look at that and you think blimey, like it looks huge, but not that tall, is it? Like, that's over 500 foot. Um, yeah, we're going to be heading up over there, showing you all the different views and the experience, of course, if you're going to be coming down here to Brighton. Um, this summer or of course at any point in the future and wanting to know what the attraction is like. Now it opened back in 2016 and you get some pretty awesome views from up there across the Brighton and Hove area. Are you a little bit windy there? Windy. I know, I wonder if we're going to feel the tower like shaking oh, side yeah. to side but uh, yeah I did this once a few years ago it was really good so I thought let's come back. was hoping for the sun to be shining but unfortunately it's not but there's still time this afternoon by the time we get over to uh, Brighton Palace Pier. If you haven't already though we've just visited the Sea Life Centre haven't we? Yeah it was really good. Yeah so check out that vlog it's now online here on our YouTube channel. Uh, but anyway as you can see the uh, gondola has reached up to its uh, top point we're gonna make our way down there now and uh, yeah we'll go and uh, show you the full experience. So now we're getting a lot closer you realize the scale of this observation tower like you look at the buildings and apartment blocks nearby and you look at the tower standing proud here on the seafront in Brighton. Now it cost 46 million pounds to build this, a lot of money, but yeah, it does look really impressive down here on the skyline. I really like the design of it. Uh, I think it looks great, even better when there's a nice blue sky behind it. And there's a little bit of blue sky off there to the left. Uh, now I did mention this in the Sea Life vlog, but you don't really want to be doing this on a wet day. Same as like when you ride the London Eye or anything that's got glass all around, um, you know, for the observation points, uh, you don't want all the glass running down especially if you want to take photos and videos I mean, it's not the best so fingers crossed it's gonna stay um, dry to be honest though it seems like the Sun might be starting to peak out so we've made it down here to the entrance for Brighton's best views looking forward to this very nice promotional image just here showing you what it is like on a nice blue sky and hot summer's day and yeah the weather was a lot better last time we did this a few years ago but you know what it looks clear it's dry we're gonna make the most of it I do like the design of it just there I'm surprised Charlotte hasn't said a certain uh, line looking it looks at that like a spaceship. <laughs> that's what she normally says when you see something like that but yeah of course you get fantastic views and we're gonna be filming one third and final vlog from this little uh, series here in Brighton of course that's gonna be from the pier the pier is absolutely huge as you can see it goes really far out and yeah you got all sorts of different rides down there including a couple of different roller coasters a log flume and also the booster there as well I just hope it's not too windy because I know that if it gets too windy especially the booster that can't operate but it's not too bad and it is supposed to be getting a bit better this afternoon well we'll see yeah hey you like that we'll see oh that was bad wasn't it here we go nice and quiet down here at the i360 we've got our tickets booked online definitely worth booking everything online at the moment um, of course you get guaranteed entry then down here to the i360 ticket prices then down here 16 pounds 50 for an adult or you can be a young person that's 16 to 24 and that is charlotte over here uh, you are a young person. So I was actually cheaper than Sean today. I can't believe it. Yay! <laughs> Charlotte gets a discount. I do think £16.50 is quite expensive for it. However, good. yeah, that, I think you know, that's more the price that it's worth. But I do think it's still a very nice attraction. Um, you know, I do very much enjoy it. It is quite pricey, but you're up there quite a while and you do get some uh, good views. And of course, you can get anytime tickets. We can get the sparkling wine experience there as well. You can get a big discount on that, Charlotte. Uh -huh. You can get the sparkling wine experience for 21 pound 10 that's good eh? i have to pay 26 pound 50. you're looking forward to it yes something a bit different for you so yeah we'll uh, make our way around and we'll get our ticket scanned as you can see it's still up at the top right then so we've just been through the security check area full airport style security check when you're coming in here of course it is sponsored by british airways so yeah it's going to be like you're going on a plane isn't it <laughs> but here you go this shows you all the construction of course that's took place and the tower itself yeah it's a really like interesting structure isn't it for this and this has all the information of course about putting all the different columns together to reach its full height just over there this tells you a bit more information about the tower i mean i've already mentioned its height 162 meters but yeah it's 3.9 meters wide one of the most slender ever built structure responds to wind when well, we need that today and other weather conditions as well and there's a little image of that 
Just thought I'd show you this image here as well, as you can see, all the foundations for the tower as well. I had to dig down quite a way. And yeah, I imagine that's exactly where that 3.9 meter wide tower sits in the middle. And here it is, the gondola is back down here at the bottom now. So you get a really good idea on the size of it. Spaceship. That's that tower. It's not a spaceship, Charlotte. It's huge though, isn't it? The gondola. Yeah, it's massive. Yeah, it's massive. Like, you know, like you look at it and think, oh, even if you are scared of heights and stuff, you know, you can just stay on that middle section over there. You're not going to worry too much. But yeah, anyway, we should be uh, getting on shortly. In fact, we're getting on right now. Look what I've just spotted there, Charlotte. <laughs> Love it. All right, let's go. I360, got all the rewards nicely displayed down here as well. Here we are then, inside the pod that's gonna be taking us up. We zoom down this way and here's a little look. Just lifting out down the bottom here. Well, yeah, it's absolutely massive in here. You saw it just on the outside. Look at the size of it. It is huge. There we are then. So you lift up at quite a slow speed. So yeah, if you are scared of heights, you don't have to worry too much. Well, you just be having a nice sit down in the middle there, aren't you? Yeah, seat's quite comfortable. Yeah, nice little seating area. Of course, we've got a bar up here as well, so you can have some uh, nice drinks if you want to, a glass of champagne. I find it quite satisfying just watching the structure just over here, actually. I just threw the glass as we lift up. Love the design of this. Yeah, I find it quite satisfying just watching that move. And of course, you've got all the mechanism and motors just here that help drive it. Looks like a snake skin. It's, it's really satisfying to watch that. Yeah. <laughs> there we go, I like a bit of music while they're playing here as well. So like I say, on a rainy day, you really want to try and avoid it because, you know, if it was raining, you wouldn't see loads out of the windows just here. I imagine they try and clean them off maybe in between every flight though. Can you imagine a drop tower this tall? Oh, I know, yeah, like, it'd be crazy. So of course, from up here, you get a great view over at the West Pier just over there. I'd love to see them fully restore the pier. I mean, they've kept the remains of the structure there. I believe we were chatting to someone last time and it was like, yeah, they keep it as like an art piece. That's why they made a bit of a feature. With some of the other columns just down here and directly underneath where we are, they put some of the columns and kind of blended it all in. But yeah, I'm not a big fan. I think it would be nice if, you know, they fully restored the pier. I know it costs millions of pounds to do, but can you imagine straight out here, the West Pier? But of course, you've still got Brighton Palace Pier down there. Like I said, we're gonna be heading there next to get on the rides. The Rampion Wind Farm. Oh yeah, you can just make out over there in the distance. Probably won't pick up on the camera. And also the Isle of Wight. Of course, we was over there a few weeks ago here on the channel. So check out them vlogs if you've not already seen them. We had a great time over there. Did lots of different attractions. But yeah, the Isle of Wight's kind of out in that direction over there. Are we at the top yet? No, we're still moving. Still moving on up. Hello. How much is it then for the drinks? You've just been having a look, haven't you? Just having a look. So we've got a Coke. Two seventy-five for a Coke. That's not too bad. Oh, that's all right, that. That's not too bad. Still climbing up. Oh, well, we're not far away now. I think we're going to be stopping shortly. Yeah, it's absolutely massive in here. And of course, over the past few days, we've been staying at Butlins. Of course, they've been the past three vlogs on the channel. We've had a lovely time down at Butlins, haven't we? Really good, I've really enjoyed it. And absolutely fantastic. So check out them vlogs if you've not already seen it. Don't think we can see it. Maybe on an ultra clear day, I don't know, you might just see it. We've drove about 28 miles um, from Bognor Regis. Of course, it's straight down the coast here. Um, I don't think you'd see it even on a clear day, really. I mean, because of course, the coast bends round a little bit here, Brighton and Hove. But um, yeah, you know, we've been staying down there, we've had a great time. I don't know, maybe on a really, really clear day you might see the Skyline Pavilion. Hang on a minute, Charlotte's having a bit of a dance over here. 
<laughs> Wouldn't be a vlog without Charlotte having a bit of a dance, would it? <laughs> Here we go. So yeah, we're literally just reaching the top now. As you can see, we're just slowly coming to a stop just there. Of course, you get to just chill up here now and enjoy all the different views. Yeah, it's very high up here. If you don't like heights, you don't want to be near the edge. But you'd be absolutely fine standing in the middle section. Really nice long beach here in Brighton as well, all the way down that way. Some very nice building architecture here as well. You get to appreciate some of the older, more traditional seaside buildings. Do you know what would be good on this? Go on. Glass floor. Yeah, I mean, they could have done that as well if they wanted yeah, to. It's just a little section, a glass floor would have really made it. Yeah, I know, 100% agree. Maybe they could do that as like a, a future development. Because you've got to think with something like this, you know, once people have done it once or twice, you know, a lot of people wouldn't come again. So that'd be a good little feature for them to do in the future. Yeah, like, I have not even thought about that. Yeah, but yeah, a glass floor would be absolutely awesome in here. There we go, gives you all the information down here. Worthing Pier over there. Yeah, I really love how spacious it is up here, it's great. And obviously that works great for social distancing at the moment as well. Inland, completely opposite to where the sea is. Brian Station, somewhere over there as well. We can just see down there. There we go. Ditchling Beacon up there on the hillside. Don't think we can make that out today. Like I say, it is a bit cloudy in the distance. Yeah, the windows could definitely do with a bit of a clean over on this side. They're a lot better over on that side than over here. But yeah, I know you can't control the weather, but it'd be nice if they just kind of washed them down a little bit. But yeah, you can see just out there towards the pier, give you a bit of a zoom in. Like I say, it's not going to be amazing footage because of how cloudy it is just over here on the windows, all the condensation. But yeah, we're going to be taking a stroll out on the pier. At least it's not raining though. I can't imagine that you'd see a lot in here, on here in the rain at all. So yeah, if you're coming down here to Brighton for the day or a few days, make sure you do this whenever the weather is going to be better for you. I mentioned earlier on a few minutes ago how they use like some of these old support structures and stuff to do artwork just down here. And you can see that on display down here along the seafront. The Sea Life Centre where I was in yesterday's vlog, that's just directly opposite the pier. So yeah, it only takes about 15, 20 minutes just to walk down here along the promenade area. You know it would make it really thrilling, Charlotte, if you just abseil down from here now. Right, you get to the top, they open up these doors here, then you just uh, abseil all the way down onto the floor. Oh God, this bar moves. Oh, that is the, that is the door. Thought I was falling out then, viewing, thought so that was the end. Here we go then, so we've probably stopped at the top for around 10 minutes. We're starting to come back down now. So yeah, if you are having a drink up here, you don't have a long time to enjoy it. Yeah, definitely. I think, like I said... small glasses, that's why. Oh, that's how they get you, that is. But yeah, I don't think... It, £16 is a lot of money, I think, for it. I think £16 it. is too expensive for what it is. Overall, a 20-minute experience, you know, it is a lot of money. It's the £11, good, that I paid. Yeah, I think it's worth what Charlotte paid definitely, for it. Yeah. I do really enjoy it, though. You've got to think it costs a lot of money to, to build. Um, but yeah, on a nice, perfect, blue, sunny day, it'd be even better. But obviously, you can't control the weather, can you? 
Yeah, I do think it's great. It'd be nice at night as well. Obviously, at this time of year, it's not open um, in the dark. But yeah, if you came here like other times of the year, but it's quite good at night. Looking out over all the lights over Brighton and Hove. You got like the little strip light and all the little lights up there in the top as well. Just to enjoy the views. But yeah, we're coming back down now. After enjoying some nice views all across Brighton and looking out to sea. And up next, time to get on some more rides over at the pier. Not done it for a few years. Not that pier down there, <laughs> the Palace Pier. Don't think there's any rides on that one. So it doesn't take that long to get down at all. Probably five or six minutes for it to slowly lower down. It could probably go quicker if you wanted to, but uh, yeah, it's not a drop tower. It's definitely an observation tower. <laughs> anyway, I'll just put in a little bit more footage of us coming back down, and then we'll head outside and wrap up this nice little vlog here from the i360. Love a good observation tower. Back when I was a kid, I used to absolutely love going to the one in Rill over in Wales. Used to do that one. Of course, that was a very old school observation tower, and it actually still stands there on the sea front in real um, but yeah it's not operated for many years it would be great if they could restore it and turn it into a more modern attraction um, like of course the this one here you know if, uh, this was brand new in 2016 but uh, you know with that old one it'd be nice if they spent the money doing it up um, you know, and, and making it an attraction for real again, because that's what I always remember going to as a kid. Um, but yeah, I think it's a really nice attraction, a little bit on the pricey side, but we do get some great views, and so uh, yeah, it's certainly worth it on a nice sunny day as well. Here we go, the spaceship is landing. Spaceship's coming down. Spaceship! <laughs> nice and comfy, yeah, Charlotte's right about these. Just have a little sit down, very comfy. There we go, the slithering snake of Brighton, that's what I'm gonna call it. <laughs> Brilliant, we all head outside. We'll wrap up this little vlog. I am ready to get on some rides. Looking forward to it. Fingers crossed it's not too windy, so the booster should be in action. That's what I'm hoping for. But there's still the coasters on there. There's a log flume. <laughs> so tune to the next vlog. We'll get a bit of a log flume action on this lovely afternoon. Log, uh, log flume. And along with that as well, um, various other different flat rides to enjoy as well over at the Brighton it's Palace it's Pier. We'll be arriving back to our beach building. Prior to this parking, please ensure we have your personal needs with you. And then he gets the drinks, the phone house, and soon he's going to turn empty glasses to the safety. Here we are then in the gift shop, just before we get outside, here we go. Got the little seagulls just there, they come in small, medium, and large just over there. Got the book of seagulls over there as well. Oh, there's a yeah, glasses case with seagulls on as well. Yeah, yeah, look at that. That's nice, isn't it? Get you put your uh, glasses in there. Lovely. Seagull with chips, $3.99. Look at him. Oh, he's quite nice, isn't he? Seagull with chips. <laughs> he's going to be stealing your chips in a minute. <laughs> Umbrella. Oh, loads of seagull stuff. Seagulls. Doing your bacon. There you go. Charlotte Louise Bakes. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't any Charlotte Louise Bakes for a while. When are you baking for me again? Oh, you got to bake for me again. Charlotte bakes some really nice cakes, don't you? And then you get to check out your photos just over here, of course. These are quite nice prints over here. Very nice. That's really nice. I like that. There's a seagull cushion. Whereabouts? Oh, so there is. There you go. They are display cushions only. Oh dear. Does that mean you can't buy them or do they get one out the back? <laughs> Makes a match on all your different cushions. It's quite a nice uh, colour scheme, isn't it? All that stuff. Like blue and white. Really nice. Right then, so we just made our way outside and a bit cold now we're here on the beach. It's chilly now. Oh, from the i360 and it was really good overall. It's a 20 minute experience. That includes taking you up there, um, your time at the top and coming back down. I was sure that I remember it spinning last time, but obviously it must not have done. Or maybe I said, yeah, maybe I said last time I thought it spun, but no, it definitely didn't spin around today as you saw. Um, but yeah, I still think it's a good overall experience. 20 minutes, but uh, I think over 16 pounds is quite expensive yeah, for that. I think that's really expensive. I think what Charlotte paid, the youth price, is what everybody should pay for that one, yeah, in my opinion. Um, for a 20 minute experience, bear in mind, you know, you'll go like over to the pier, 
paid 22 pounds and you can get like six hours or whatever of riding yeah. you know so it is quite expensive um, but yeah I do think it's worth doing it's one of them things that now I've done it a couple of times in a few years I wouldn't do it again for a long time yeah. now like Charlotte said though adding like a glass floor would be amazing be on there really good, yeah. yeah I'd say it'd be easier for them to to do that Even than of course make it spin yeah, that would be fantastic, wouldn't it? A really nice uh, glass floor up there. But oh, the sun's coming out. Yeah. Fantastic. So we're going to be filming our third and final vlog down here in Brighton. And that's going to be from the pier. You can just see it over there in the distance. Looking forward to this, Charlotte's never been. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, of course, we've got the uh, GoPro, so we'll be able to get lots of on-ride footage. Um, there's an air race on there, lots of other different rides, coasters, log flume, uh, ghost train, and so much more. So uh, yeah, we'll be filming that for you to enjoy here on Theme Park Worldwide. And like we said already, check out our vlog from Sea Life. Why well, I mean, he's having a good time. <laughs> from Sea Life in Brighton, if you've not already seen it. It's probably the best one in the UK for it being a really unique experience. So check that out here on the channel. Well, there we go, a nice ride there on the i360. And that leaves us with one final thing to say. Yeah. Get out there and keep, keep on riding. riding. See you over on the pier.